Texas Heart Institute's rich history and commitment to education makes it the perfect host for students in search of a deeper understanding of cardiovascular research and medicine. This summer, THI's Vice President for Research, Dr. Darren Woodside, and Director of Biology, Dr. Peter Vanderslice, mentored two bright students. My name is Matthew Wynn. Uh, I'm a junior at Texas A&M University, and I currently work at the Molecular Cardiology Research Labs as a student intern at Texas Heart Institute. My name is Michaela. I'm an incoming freshman at the University of Pennsylvania. Why are you interested in STEM? Uh, I've always loved science, and thanks to shadowing and volunteering and working at different research labs, I was able to you know, open my eyes to what really goes on behind the scenes in medicine and what it really takes to um, help uh, patients. Going into a career in STEM, whether that's in the clinical setting or the research setting or something similar, would really help me to develop a more in-depth understanding of, of things that I, illnesses and, and, and mechanisms of disease um, and, and health that I see in, in everyone every day. Um, and that's always fascinating to me to be able to say, you know, I, I read about that in the lab, I saw that in the lab, and now I understand why it's happening. There was a lot of things that I learned in here uh, that I didn't learn in school, like pipe picking. I didn't really get to do a lot of that during the COVID because everything was uh, online, but being able to work in person and work in the lab was very helpful. I thought that coming to THI and doing research in a lab the summer before my first year as an undergraduate um, would not only be really helpful for me in terms of kind of deciding what my interests are, specifically in scientific research, um, but also to form connections and learn a little bit more about, about the research going on here and about molecular cardiology. Michaela visited us a few years ago through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and her main interest was to follow the cardiac surgeons around. That was her real uh, goal at the time. And on her final day, she had some spare time, so she was brought up to the research labs to see what we were doing. And so I gave her a, a brief overview of our projects, and we got to one in which we were, my lab actually developed small molecule drugs to, to enhance various therapies, including stem cell therapy done here at Texas Heart. Uh, but one of the drugs also, as we followed the science, found that it worked very well uh, in conjunction with immunotherapies for uh, various solid tumor cancers. And I just happened to mention to Michaela that you've probably seen commercials for these products, Updevo, Keytruda, et cetera. And she just out of the blue said, yeah, I, I'm on Updevo. So uh, she took a sudden interest in that. And I have her working on that project, actually on the actual drug that's in clinical trials now. Coming back to the lab and seeing all those new discoveries um, and seeing how they've moved on from the compound I saw three years ago to what they're working on now um, has just been really exciting. What I work on is very personalized medicine, so being able to look up uh, certain mutations and uh, really be able to make those mutations and test certain, uh, test out the mutations to see whether or not drug works or not. I look forward to coming here to work every day. It's just absolutely amazing to be a part of it and I'm so excited for the next breakthrough that, that will happen in that department um, and, and it could happen any day.